Hi everyone, it's Tawny. In today's video, I have some new drugstore makeup that I wanna try out. Um, I have some new, new to me, um, Essence products. These are from the Keep Me Covered line. I have the foundation and the concealer. So we're gonna try those out. And I also have the uh, Wet n' Wild Sesame Street collection that I have had in my, um, my possession for like two months now. And I have not filmed the video because I've been waiting for like the right time to do it. So we're just gonna do it now. This is gonna be the right time. Um, I have the eyeshadow palette, the bronzer palette, and then also a uh, liquid lipstick, lip gloss topper type thing. So we're gonna try all these products out. I'm gonna try and stick to Essence and Wet n Wild products to film the whole video. So in that way, it's sort of like a try and see how the makeup works, see how well I like the lines, like if there's any like standouts or things that I don't really like as much. Like we can talk about all of that while we're filming the video. And, um, see how we feel about all these new products as well. I am dealing with some severe stress acne on my face. It's mainly just this cheek. Um, I have been overwhelmingly stressed for like the last month and a half. Since like beginning of April, I feel like it's more of one of those, it's been building and I've been trying to get through it type things that it's just like finally hit the point that like I can't take it anymore. And I don't do well, like I do well with stress to a point, but then I'm, I'm one that the little things get me. It's not the big things. It's not like the overwhelming, you know, sense of like fear and anguish of whatever's happening in my life. And you know, like car, it's not the car issues and it's not the work issues. I mean, those things definitely like play a role, but it's the, you know, like I banged my knee off of my bathtub last night trying to like, I have a bath mat in my bathtub that doesn't seem to like to stick to the actual bathtub, like the porcelain part you stand in, in the tub to get a shower and whatnot. It doesn't seem to like to stick to it. And I went to take a step in there and the bath mat was wet from a previous shower like the day before. And I slipped I think I put my left my left foot in and my right leg was still out of the tub on the like shower mat on the outside like you know like you stand off and drag yourself off and whatever and my knee like swung and like bung, banged bung <laughs> banged into the side of the tub so it hurts and I'm all bruised up and it's like that's the thing that would send me over the edge not anything else not all the big stuff that's like overwhelming it's that little thing that like it was a lot. I planned to actually film last night and then that happened and I was like, we're not filming today. I was like, I can't do this. I was like, I'm going to lose my S, my crap. Like, I'm not, I can't do this. And it's something I'm trying to work on because I know that that's like stems from anger issues, but you know, we'll try and get through that. So I'm dealing with this acne as a result of all of that. And I feel like it's been accentuating my anxiety. I don't want to get too much into this. So I don't want to like have to give a trigger warning. I just wanted to be able to talk about the makeup, but I just kind of wanted to give you a preface. I can't stop picking at it because I just get very like, I get this like urge that like I can't stop. So then nothing heals because I can't stop. So that is why I have this. It should have cleared up by now because usually anytime I have an issue with acne that comes from stress, I wash my face. I just put a little bit of like hot water on a washcloth and like hold it over the stuff and it kind of like soothes it enough that it kind of like balances my skin back out and like, and it goes away. Well, I've taken like three showers and nothing has happened. So hope that this foundation can cover this, which it says it's long lasting. It says they're both long lasting. Um, it doesn't really say, uh, concealer is buildable coverage. So that's good. Uh, the foundation, lightweight texture with a smooth matte finish, medium to high coverage. So we will see how well these products work at covering up my acne and making me look pretty for tonight. I wanna look sort of nice and polished, which is why we're gonna be putting on Sesame Street makeup tonight. Don't know why I thought this was a good idea, but you know, tonight of all nights is the night I picked to go Sesame Street. So we're not gonna do too much with the color, but we're gonna try and like do something to make it, you know, still give the product a fair try, but not put blue and orange all over my face, my eyes at least. Um, I'm going in with the Wet n Wild Impossible Primer. I have not used this in a hot minute. It, like, the way it sits in my primer, um, like, primer drawer, it just kind of, like, gets lost under the shuffle of all my other primers. 
and I just haven't like remembered to get it out to use it. Um, I don't know if this is a pore filling, oh yeah, the one silicone free primer that does it all, it doesn't, okay, it doesn't say pore filling on the outside. But most of the time when you get a silicone primer, that's typically what you do with them. But I'm gonna like put them on that, those parts of my face and then blend out because I think that'll like, I still want the primer coverage on the outer parts of my face, just not so like heavy, whereas I want it on the middle of my face. I know I really liked this primer when I first tried it, when I first got it, and I've used it a lot since then. It's just been recently, I've just been like sticking to the same products over and over and over again. And I'm kind of, you know, ready to branch out into my collection itself, even if it's not, you know, buying new products, and then see what I have that I may like better than the typical products I've been trying to use. Um, oh, I wanted to give a disclaimer. I also think that this acne is a result of this breaks my heart to even have to say this. I've been trying the Revlon Colorstay Longwear Makeup Foundation in com combination oily. Um, it's the new refinished or re rebrand whatever of that foundation from Revlon. And I broke out from it the last time I had it in the original packaging that they originally released it in. I, um, I remember how, I don't remember if I had like bumps, but I know that my skin was not clear and I was just looking at my face and I'm like, man, my face looks great. And then bam, this happens. And I'm just like, you actually look nice. And then bam, like, I don't know where, like, I guess it was just the stress and then the foundation, but it's been slowly building because I've used that foundation a couple times. And then the last couple times it's done this. So it worries me a little bit, but I, which means I'll probably have to like stop using that foundation for a while. Um, I'm going in with the Essence Keep Me Covered Long Lasting Foundation. It is transfer and waterproof, has a medium to full buildable coverage, and it has aloe vera that's supposed to make it last up to 16 hours and be waterproof. So it says to shake this really well. So it has been sitting on my desk, standing up just like this, for the last, since I bought it, two months ago or whatever, when that was. So I'm hoping it's... I mean, obviously it should still be good. I haven't touched it, haven't opened it. It's been chilling the way it has been. So hopefully that's a good sign. Um, it comes out very thin and very, it's not real moot. It doesn't like slide much. I don't like doing this because then I don't like getting it all over my hand. I'm weird like that. I'm going to go in with a uh, Real Techniques 200 foundation brush. Oh, this, this is not my summer. I mean, it kind of goes with my neck. It'll blend in. It's not quite my summer shade. It's not quite where I'm at. Oh my gosh. That is, I hope this blends in. It looks like it should, I mean, it is, it does look a little light, but it looks like it should work. I'm pretty sure I tried this at an Ulta to color match it. And a lot of times anymore, I will grab, okay, it definitely has a fragrance to it. It's very perfumey. I don't mind it, but I know people don't always like fragranced, um, products so keep that in mind just definitely smell it when you if you're interested in trying it or do a test on like a small little amount on your face or on your hand to make sure you're not going to like break out from it that's definitely you know I've learned there along the way okay this blends in pretty well it's still a little light but I think I can like fill it in but you can definitely see like it definitely gets rid of a lot of the redness that I have so that's a good thing because that's definitely something I always look for is can it kind of neutralize my skin? But it definitely looks very like makeup y. I almost got that all over some stuff. It definitely looks very makeup y on the skin. And this is just like a thin layer that I've just been like dabbing around with my brush. Um, I was going to say something about the, Oh, I have this in the shade 20 porcelain, which I don't think is the lightest shade, but I'm pretty sure it's close to it. I know a lot of times porcelain is either zero or 01 or one or something that's like the first one in the collection, you'd think. Um, some brands I know have bone or bone as the um, like lightest shade, I, but I don't, I don't know if maybe the next shade up was too dark because sometimes the jet, like, the shit, yeah, the shades or the shat, yeah, the shades, they jump too far. So the lighter shade could be too light, but then the next shade up could be too dark, too dark, or have a like undertone that I don't particularly like. Like I don't normally go for a yellow undertone in a product, but that's just my personal choice. 
to not do that. I know some people prefer that just because of the way their skin is undertoned and the way it looks that they might need to go more yellow or more neutral or whatever. Um, I like the way that looks on the forehead and it's sitting on the nose very well. Yeah, very well. Um, it's sitting on the nose well, so that's a good sign because usually your nose is kind of an indicator of, sort of an indicator on how well your skincare is working. Because if you don't do your skincare well, your foundation's not going to sit well on your face. But then it's also, if your foundation sits well on your nose, then it's a good foundation because then it can like actually adhere to those areas that are a little more tricky to deal with. And then it'll most likely wear well throughout the day. So you don't have to worry about touching up a whole lot or like losing the whole makeup on your nose, you know? Okay, so I like the way that looks. I'm gonna go in with my Beauty Blender. It just has some like residue. It doesn't really have much on it. And I'm just gonna kind of pat this in just to kind of make sure there's no streak marks or dab marks from the brush that I used. I definitely think it covers a good bit. This side definitely looks a lot better than this side. So I don't know if maybe just my pimples are a little harder to cover up. And like from far away, you can't really tell much of a difference. Like you can't really see all of the acne. It's just kind of like when you're up close, you're going to see it regardless of how much you put on your face to cover it up with. So that's just kind of, I'm just being a little more nitpicky than I should be. But I like the way it looks so far. I think it has a nice finish. It's not too matte, but it's not like glossy to the point that you're like you look like you're sweating and you just like drenched water all over your skin it definitely like it leans more matte but I can still see a little bit of like sheen to my face so I think that kind of helps so we're going to go in with the concealer now it is the essence keep me covered concealer it has aloe vera as well no added fragrance silicones or mineral oil we'll see I don't know because this one the foundation was fragranced um it also says it is vegan it has buildable medium coverage, um, dermatology, dermatologically tested on sensitive skin. So we will see how well this works. It has like a chemical smell, but nothing like, not really fragrancy, like just kind of what your typical concealers would smell like. I have this in the shade. Where do I even have this in the shade in? What was on the sticker? Where did I put the sticker? uh 10 pale so this would should go well with porcelain but it's coming off very yellow and a little bit like sort of darker than what the foundation color is so i don't know how i feel about that but we'll see how it blends in because it could blend in better and then you don't even notice that it was like off in the first place so I'm going to go into areas where I want it to blend in faster and not be quite as like stark on my face. And then I'm going to let some areas kind of like saturate so then they're a little bit brighter. Um, that blended in really easily and really quickly, but I'm not noticing a whole lot of brightness to my chin. Maybe just a little bit, but not like an overabundance amount. I don't, okay, it says buildable medium coverage. So I can definitely see the it's kind of coming on a little bit more like lighter coverage now and then I think once you build it you can get it up to a medium coverage but I'm not quite sure if that's what they meant or not or if that's just how I'm interpreting these things okay so here's what it looks like blended in I have like little baby hairs all over the place um I don't see much difference like brightener wise it's not really doing a whole lot I think it definitely did cover a good bit under my eyes so I really like that I don't think I don't know if maybe getting a lighter shade would have worked to make it a little bit brighter, but that's something to keep in mind. So I'm going to go in with the Brighten Up Banana Powder from Essence to try and brighten those areas just to give my face a little bit more like of an oomph where I feel like I'm not getting it from the concealer. Okay, now we are going in with the Wet n Wild Let's Play Together Complexion Trio it is part of the Sesame Street collection. Looks like we have a highlighter and then a lighter bronzer shade and then a deeper bronzer shade, which I think with the deeper one, you could sort of contour because it looks a little bit more muted and like it has a cooler undertone. So it's not going to be as bronzy. It, it'll be a little bit more contoury, maybe not as much, but that's how I would view it. I definitely think that it kind of gives a little bit of that dimension there. So that's helping.
I put the bronzer on my face and then I also did a little bit of blush with the Essence Satin Touch Blush in Satin Coral. I really like how this bronzer looks. I think it's definitely like, it's a very warm blush for me, but I like the way that it, like the warmth and how it's applying. It's a little more yellow than it is red. And I definitely feel like that's better fit for me personally. Um, I really like the way that it applied, the way it's sitting on my face. I think everything's kind of like, going very well cohesively so that's a good thing so now i'm going to go in with this highlighter it looks like it might be a little too gold but we're going to go ahead and try it anyway and just see how it looks on the skin i definitely like the way this is applying and it's not too gold that it's like just the color on my face and not the highlight i really like the way that looks that is so pretty this is actually like a nice collection. I like when brands actually put some effort into the collection and not just like slapping some pictures and some fancy words and a high price tag on a collection and then you're getting crap makeup or you're getting like not good quality compared to the rest of the brand. So I'm gonna go put my brows and my eyeshadow primer on and then we will be back to do the eyes. All right, so we have our eyebrows done and our eyelids are primed. So now we're gonna go in with the 123 Sesame Street eyeshadow palette. It says it's for eyes and the face, but we're just gonna do it on the eyes because I don't need to do anything fancy with my face. Okay, why can't I, okay. I was like, why can't I get this open? So I'm gonna go in. There's not a whole lot of like light shades to work with. It's very rainbow palette. It looks like this, has a couple uh, glitters in there. I think some of these are shimmers. So that'll be kind of nice and helpful. There's a little bit of variety depending on what kind of look you're gonna do. So I'm gonna go in with the shade that is stamped 123 Sesame Street. And I'm just gonna pack that on the lid and then blend into the crease as sort of a transition shade. Okay, I really like the way that shade looks on my eyes. It gives it a little bit of color without being too, too much color or like no color at all. Cause some shadows that are this shade tend to like, don't, they don't do anything on my eyes. They just kind of like blend right in. And there's nothing wrong with that. But if I wanted a powder, I would get a powder and not an eyeshadow. So I'm gonna go in with this shade next. And I'm gonna just go very lightly on my brush and just kind of tap a little bit, tap it, the excess off and then I'm going to go on the outer corner of my eye and pack it down but then kind of blend it inward and up into my crease so then that way it's not quite as intense just in the outer corner. Okay, really like the way that shadow blended out. You can't even tell that I like packed it down real good. It just kind of like seamlessly blends out into the rest of my eye. So now I'm gonna go in with this sort of like brown mauve shade and I'm gonna kind of put that on the inner part of my lid, like further in from where like the outer corner where this dark brown is. I really like the way that looks now. So now I'm gonna go in to, I don't know, part of me wants to use this shade, but I think it's a little too purpley. So I think I'm just gonna go in with this shade here that kind of looks like it matches the um, face palette that we had used with the bronzer and the one highlight in there. So I'm going to put that on my inner corner and blend up into and on my eyelid. Okay, this is what the eyes look like before I do mascara. It's coming off a little bit darker and sort of reddish on camera than it is in person, but I really like the way that this looks. And I like the way that I was able to use some different colors that I don't normally see in palettes that this one had to create kind of a look that I like normally gravitate toward all the time. So now we're gonna go in with the Wet n Wild Breakup Proof Mascara in the shade Ultra Black. It says it is waterproof and gives extreme volume and length. I really like the eyeliner that they have that is breakup proof. 
it is the, um, it's kind of like in a pen. It's not just like the twist up kind of mascara. I think that one is like my favorite found, or yeah, my favorite eyeliner to use because I feel like it's so easy to work with and it's very forgiving as well. So I figured I'd I would test out this mascara to see if I liked it, to see if it was any good, to see if this line was worth continuing on what Wild's behalf on their part. Um, I really like the way this brush looks, very typical for, you know, doing both length and volume, very on brand for what I prefer in a brush for mascara. So we're gonna go and see how this works. Okay, this is one coat. I don't really like the way it looks on my lower lash line. Like this lash line looks okay. This one is a little bit eh. So I don't know if it's just me or if it's just this mascara, but it's just not quite doing it for me like I'd want it to on those lashes. But on my upper lashes, it actually looks really nice. So I'm very impressed just with the first, um, first coat. I'm going to go in with a second coat just to see if I can get it to look a little bit more poppy, but so far this is actually a really nice mascara. Like you can actually see that I have lashes with this mascara on. Some mascaras can't always do that for you. Okay, so this is what it looks like after that second coat, and I'm hoping you can see it. <laughs> I'm not very good at showing off mascara, but I really like the way this looks. I think it looks really nice on the eyes. It's kind of sort of hard to tell, but I think it looks good, so that's all that matters because I'm the one wearing the mascara the rest of the evening. So let's move on to setting the face and the lips. Okay, so I'm going to go in with the Essence Stay 8-Hour Lip Liner. It is waterproof in the shade Because Duh, and I'm going to line my lips and then kind of do the inside as well. Just kind of cover my lips in general. Okay, I'm not sure how I'm gonna feel about this topper, this lip gloss, because of the color that it is. It's a very like, golden pink shifted glitter. So we'll see if we like this. It is the Happy To Be Me lip gloss in the shade Big Hugs. It has Big Bird on the outside of it. I think the packaging is super cute on this. It like just screams Sesame Street. Like you can't get any more Sesame Street than what they did with this. So I'm gonna go in and just kind of apply this over the top and we'll see what it looks like. I will probably not be wearing this tonight, but I just kind of want to show you what it looks like. Okay, um, that is a lip gloss. This is actually kind of cute. In the right time and place, this could be like, bang it. Let's look at it up close. Do you see that pink shift on there? Oh my gosh, that is stunning. I actually like that lip gloss, I'm not gonna lie. It won't go with like my outfit tonight or whatever, whatever outfit I go with. I don't think it'll match it very well, but wow, that is nice. Um, so yeah, I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, please like, share, and subscribe. Ring the notification bell down below so you get notified when I upload my next video. Uh, stay tuned for that one. Real quick update, um, I really liked everything that I tried on today. I'm not sure how much I'll get use out of the bronzer and highlighter palette just because that's not usually my thing, but I'm gonna try to use it. Um, 
the concealer was just okay. I didn't really think it was that great, but it, it is okay. Like it provides enough coverage to kind of like conceal things under my eyes. So I do like that. Um, foundation looks good so far. We'll see how well it wears. Everything else, really good. Thank you guys for watching this video and stay tuned for the next one. Stay tuned for the next one and I will see you then. Bye.